Hello, my beautiful Virgos. How are you? It is B. Welcome to your um, two monthly reading. Uh, as all of you know, I'm switching my readings to two months in one sitting or in one video. Thank you so much for uh, watching these videos. I certainly do appreciate it. For those of you that have liked, shared, and subscribed and commented, thank you so much. For those of you that have subscribed, please make sure that you click on the notification button and the little bell so that you will be immediately notified when I post my videos. All right, guys, the other thing that I'm going to be changing about my readings this time around, and in fact, here on out, is that I am going to be doing the astrological uh, aspects portion of the reading in a separate video on YouTube. So I just want to let you know that that is what will be going on. So you will not get the astrological aspects at the beginning of these videos. You will get them in a separate video. All right. Okay. And this is in efforts to make things a little bit more efficient for myself as well as others. I do not want to spend too much time on these videos. 45 minutes is just way too long. And um, I think 20, 20 to 25 minutes is, is plenty time enough to be watching some of these videos. So that is how I'm going to get, that is how I'm going to do it from here on out. All right, Virgos, let's see what we've got going on for you. For the month of May, this reading is for May and June of 2017. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, if you have a Venus or Mars in Virgo, you may want to listen to this reading as it relates to your love life. All right, so what do we got going on for the general energies for Virgos? For May of 2018, general energies for Virgos, May of 2018, here's your general energy. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life? Here's your work life and financial life. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life? Here's your emotional life and love life. What do we have going on for your health and your well-being? And remember, health and well-being is all about the mind-body-spirit connection, okay? So that is how I read a health and well-being. I do not give um, medical advice. So if you do have any concerns regarding your health or any issues with your health, please contact your physician or your provider. Okay, so what do we have going on for June of 2018 for the Virgos out there? June, general energies. Here's your general energy. What do we have going on for your work life and financial life for June? Work life and financial life. Well, you got two cards for June in your work life and financial life. What do we have going on for your emotional life and love life? Emotional life and love life. Emotional life and love life for Virgos. Here's your emotional life and love life. And what do we have going on for your health and your well-being? Here's your health and well-being. All right, Virgos, let's go ahead and let's take a look and see what's going on for you for January of 2018. For your general energies, you do have you do have the Three of Swords. So, Virgos, as it relates to the Three of Swords, for some of you, there is a separation or a delay regarding something in your life. For some of you, Virgos, out there, there could be uh, some sort of a divorce uh, uh, going on in your life right now for whatever reason. This could also be just... Uh, just simple disappointment, a uh, betrayal, lies, deceit. Uh, for some of you out there, you could be healing from a betrayal, a lie, or a deceit. Uh, for other Virgos out there, you may have deceived yourself. So please be aware of that as well. There could be something going on here relative to um, there's somebody in your life that you miss or that you want to be with them, but they you can't be with them for some reason or they can't be with you. Uh, there is definitely some third party situation going on here. For some Virgos out there, somebody that you were dating perhaps learned about a third party situation that you were in and maybe you were, you were kind of you were ready to make the decision to go with this person, but then for whatever reason, this person found out about a third party situation and maybe you were getting ready to release that third party situation, but you didn't tell them outright. And because you didn't tell them and they found out on the side, they have now left, they're gone. They no longer wanna be with you. They no longer wanna be in a relationship with you. In fact, they're not even answering your texts, your phone calls, your emails, they're just not, 
even paying any attention to you at all. So this could certainly be what is going on for some of you Virgos out there. Now, granted, Virgos, this could be happening uh, from you to them. So perhaps you found out about something going on relative to this third party situation. Now, remember, again, this could just be something that is broken around you. I've, I've definitely learned over the over time uh, reading these uh, these cards is that the three of swords means something is broken. This could be anything that is broken, a process, a project, a supply, um, a uh, possession, uh, anything. You know, your your sprinklers could be going on the fritz and you're like, why is my sprinkler shooting off that way into the street when my yard is over here? Okay, so it could be something like that as well. But there is something regarding lies, betrayals, and deceit. Uh, for some of you, if it is not just a simple broken item, uh, this could definitely be coming up for some of you Virgos out there. So please just be aware of that. And for some of you Virgos, I am hearing that somebody is putting in their resignation in the month. That probably it's general energy. We'll see if it's at the beginning of the month or the end of the month of May. I am sensing it's the end of the month of May, but that is definitely what could be going on here. For some Virgos out there, you just may be separated from a loved one because you currently, um, you know, are are traveling or maybe they are traveling. So that could be what's going on for some of you out there. For others of you Virgos out there, this could also be um, maybe you are dealing with or someone around you has heart issues. Okay, so there's heartache, heartbreak, or there's actual physical heart pain. Could be, um, you know, atrial fibrillation. It could be... Um, you know, some sort of, you know, uh, valve issue or something like that. But that is coming up here. So what do we have going on as it relates to uh, the uh, Virgos out there for your work life and your financial life? For your work life and financial life, Virgos, you do have the High Priestess. Now, there is a Pisces or an Aquarian person that is of great significance to you in your life, in your work life, in your financial life, uh, relative to some sort of secret or something that you feel is going on underneath the surface, but you can't quite put your finger on it. And you know that it's almost like the other shoe is going to drop. For those of you that have not seen my latest Planetary Aspects video um, on YouTube uh, relative to a Chiron entering into Aries and Saturn going retrograde, you may want to consider uh, going into that particular video and taking a look at that reading because... Everybody I've talked to so far, it's happened. All right, so that's up to you. I don't force people to do anything. If you want to watch it, please feel free to watch it. So then we have um, the Aquarian person or this Pisces person could be of great significance in your life relative to something going on at your work. Um, something is happening uh, that is, first of all, you need to listen to your intuition at work. This is very important. For others of you, as it relates to your work, there's something that is secretive. There's something that's underneath the table. There's something that's, there's a deal underneath the table or there's some sort of secret that is being um, being revealed. I do believe that the secret is being revealed. So, so Virgos, if you have been trying to keep a secret at something at work, then it's getting revealed and you're going to have to face the music. For other Virgos out there, if it's someone else that's keeping a secret, you're going to reveal it and they are going to have to face the music. So this is certainly what is coming up here. But I am sensing for some of you, there is a secret that is coming up at work and um, it is going to cause heartache, loss, pain, uh, betrayal. Um, it's going to cause all of it. And granted, Virgos, please remember, it could be causing loss, pain, betrayal for you at work or... The reason somebody is leaving here, uh, your facility at work or working with you in your finances or whatever, is because you betrayed, lied, or deceived them. So there is certainly something coming on uh, regarding some sort of um, interference or interruption uh, at work, and it may have something to do with a secret. So just be aware of that. So what? And like I said, Aquarius or um, or Pisces. This could also be somebody whose name begins with a B or a J. So be aware of that or their last name begins with a B or a J. So uh, something very significant about work is coming out right after the new moon in May. 
So please be aware of that particular type of energy. So what do we have going on relative to your emotional life and your love life? For your emotional life and your love life, Virgos, you do have the Ten of Cups. This is beautiful, Virgos. This really is beautiful. For some of you Virgos out there, your, your family life is just is rocking. I mean, it is awesome. It's great. It's wonderful. Okay, but we do, when I've got the Three of Swords and I've got the High Priestess, I must mention the other side of the Ten of Cups, which is all about completion, um, the end of a cycle, the end of the road. Okay, so for some of you Virgos out there, perhaps you thought that there was going to be this wonderful union of family and everything was going to be great and you were going to be the matriarch or the patriarch and you know you were just kind of waiting for the right moment to make this a reality and what happened is something underneath the surface got revealed and now this is the end of that family unit there is no more happy family you're going to have to start from the beginning or you're going to have to start over okay guys this does not mean that this is good, bad, right, wrong, or indifferent. This is something simply happening that has been brewing underneath the surface for you to be able to address. If you didn't address it, now you're facing karma. If you did address it, now you're facing great bounty and great family life. This is what is happening. And for some of you out there, there might be a family reunion. When you're at this family reunion, somebody may reveal that they are getting a divorce. Uh, that could be happening with some of you Virgos, so please be aware of that particular type of uh, energy. For other Virgos out there, this could mean uh, that somebody had to keep something secret, and now they're revealing that to you, that they are leaving, they're going someplace else, they're moving, they're separating away from the family, and this is causing a little bit of an issue with your family dynamic. It doesn't mean that it's horrible. It doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. It simply means it's a dynamic that is shifting. So just be aware of that. Um, so there we go. And for some of you Virgos out there, you are actually getting a divorce in order, in order to be with somebody that you really love. So that could be happening um, here as well. So what do we have going on uh, relative to your health and your well-being? Your health and well-being, Virgos, is the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is an Aquarian, a Gemini, or a Libra person that is a uh, rising sun or moon, or even if they have a lot of planets in these particular uh, air signs in their natal chart. So this person may be affecting your health. This person may be a surgeon. So Virgos, there may be something regarding surgery energies. Maybe you have to go into surgery or someone that you love needs to go in for surgery and they are being... Um, operated on by someone who is an Aquarian, a Libran, or a Gemini. Now, I will say this, when it comes to surgery, air signs are, they're rock stars. That's all I gotta say, all right? Especially if they're cuspers with earth. They are some of the best, all right? So I just wanna make you aware of that particular energy. So some of you may be considering uh, surgery. Somebody that you love may go in for heart surgery. And that could certainly be, or some sort of, you know, maybe it's a cath catheter lab procedure. Maybe they're going in for a percutaneous intervention, whatever that is. Um, that could be coming up for some of you out there. Uh, for others of you out there, this may be something as simple as a stress test. And somebody is trying to figure out whether or not they want to go into surgery to have some sort of stenting uh, done to see kind of how, you know, how their you know how much of a blockage that they have um, in their 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 cardiovascular area. For others of you out there, relative to health and well-being, this particular Aquarius, Pisces, or Gemini, or, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and okay, it could be a Pisces too because Pisces is represented by the High Priestess. So Aquarius, Pisces, Gemini, or Libra could be affecting your health in some way, shape, or form. This could be where maybe this person is leaving your life and now it is affecting your health in a negative way or it is affecting your health in some way, shape, or form. This could have something to do with them leaving, they're moving, they've got a new job, something like that. For others of you out there, there might be an Aquarian, Gemini, Libran, or Piscean person who wants to start working out with you. Maybe you're gonna partner with them to work out and to cut out the fat, cut out the carbs, 
you know, really start working with your body in order to make it a lean, mean fighting machine. So that's coming up here. So what do we have going on for June of 2018 for your general energies? You do have the Princess of Wands. I always hope that this uh, gets focused on, but sometimes it doesn't. So the Princess of Wands, the Princess of Wands is, um, is a fire sign now, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries person, that is having a great impact on your life right now as well. Uh, so what is happening here is this fire sign person is of great significance for you for whatever reason in the general energies regarding June of 2018. This may be the person that is replacing the uh, vacancy that has been in this, you know, the vacancy because this other person is leaving and now this fire sign is coming in. Or perhaps for some of you, you're pining after a fire sign or a fire sign is pining after you. For some of you Virgos, this fire sign actually caused uh, they were the third party and because that fire sign was the third party and the other party left you or you left the other person, this, the fire sign was the instigator. The fire sign could have been somebody you were talking to and then they started talking to other people and it caused gossip and then the gossip was revealed and then it found, then everybody found out it was true. So for some of you Virgos, you got caught in a third party situation um, and you didn't think that that was even possible. You thought you were covering your tracks, but something happened and it got revealed. And perhaps you you lost a love of your life. You lost a, um, a Pisces, an Aquarian, a Gemini, a Libran, or an Aquarian because of this fire sign or because of this travel or this passionate communication something happened and it was revealed that you weren't as true as maybe you portrayed to the other person or you found out that the person who was with you um, is not true to you and now you are going back and you are saying i can't trust you because you you know you were playing me for a fool and and I'm sorry, I don't want that energy in my life. So that's coming up for some of you Virgos out there. So what do we have going on as it relates to your work life and your financial life? Your first card is failure. Okay, this is the five. Oh, I'm sorry, the eight. Which one is it? The seven of pentacles. Failure. Okay. And then we have completion with the four of wands. So what I am definitely sensing here, when I, when I get the ten of cups in the family arena, and because of the three of swords, I pick up a completion of a family unit, a family... Um, a family setting, something with the family, there is some part of your family that is completing. Somebody is either saying to you, you know, I'm done with my mother-in-law. I'm done with my father-in-law. I'm done with my mother. I'm done with my father. I can't stand the way that they treat me. And now I'm moving on. For others of you, somebody may be saying that to you. Okay, so that could be going on here. But there is something regarding a secret that got revealed and it resulted in massive failure and a completion of something that is going on with your work or with your finances, perhaps even a dream with a loved one. So either it's happening to you or it's happening from you, but it is happening. So I want, to, I want you all to be aware of that. Again, remember, you may be in a loving and happy and, and joyous bond with a family member, with, with, with your family, and you're growing your family, and everything looks good. But there could be a brother, a sister, okay, a good friend that comes to you and says, I'm getting a divorce. I'm tired of the secrets. I don't want to be part of this anymore. 
So this is definitely coming up with you. Um, there is this secret is now costing you money. Remember, when we deal with karma and when we deal with energy, energy, it, it, it doesn't choose. Okay, it just manifests itself in whatever way it needs to manifest. So if you are causing um, difficult karma over here and thinking you were getting away with it or somebody else was thinking that they got away with it, it's going to cause another set of karma over here. Okay, so you need to be aware that the karma is going to reveal itself in uh, sometimes very, very difficult energies in another area of your life. So be aware of this. If you betrayed, lied, or deceived anyone, Virgos, it is coming back to you now. So karma is now being delivered, possibly with your family uh, or with an emotional life or love life relationship or health. So, and even potentially for some of you, even work. So that could be happening. So just be aware of that. So what do we have going on as it relates to your emotional life and love life in June of 2018? This is the Princess of Cups. So I am sensing for a lot of you uh, Virgos out there that this person uh, that is that maybe you wanted to be with, you wanted to have a loving relationship with them, you wanted things to work out, was a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, and now it's like it's it's over there there's not going to be as much uh, interaction or communication with this particular person so this is definitely what is coming up here uh this could also be for some of you if you just got out of a really bad situation a bad you went through a bad divorce you're finally free you could be embarking on a new life with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So that could be happening right around June of 2018 for sure. For other Virgos out there, you are seeing for some reason that there has been something that's been underneath the surface regarding this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. It was a secret. They reveal that secret and you feel a sense of loss for whatever reason, or you reveal a secret to a water sign and they feel a sense of loss. So that could be what's going on for some of you Virgos out there. So what do we have going on relative to your health and your well-being for June of 2018? You have indolence. This is the Eight of Cups. So what I'm getting something just doesn't feel right to you like there's something underneath the surface you can't put your finger on it but you you just you just know something is wrong okay or you know something is up but you can't put your finger on it you don't have the data in front of you and now that you're moving it once you get into june you know exactly what it is this particular pisces cancer scorpio or aquarius gemini or libra is moving they're they're out of here they're going to another location they're moving across the country they're moving to another country there is something going on here where somebody has had enough they don't want to take your crap anymore or in other words um or alternatively i should say you don't want to take their crap anymore remember these readings go both ways virgos don't take these readings like i'm i'm judge and jury here i'm giving you a message Okay, this could be happening to you, from you, or at you. So be aware that it doesn't matter how I reveal this, this energy is going on in some way, shape, or form in your life. Okay, so just be aware of that. And that it is also a general reading. So if it doesn't apply to you, it doesn't apply. All right, if it does, take what applies and use it in order to elevate yourself in your own goodwill as well as elevate others. Okay, this is the important part of these readings. But there's somebody is walking away. So you're walking away, perhaps you are cutting out alcoholism, you're cutting out drug addiction, you're cutting out any type of addiction that you may have that has been blocking you from moving forward. 
So that could certainly be what is going on as well. All right. So there is your energies for May of 2018 and June of 2018. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. And please join me and or consider uh, getting a subscription to my website to join me for your extended readings. Guys, and I will say some of these extended readings offer the key to um, what it is you might be dealing with and the advice that you need to take in order to move forward in a more happy and abundant way. But these are just basically the general energies that you may be dealing with in May and June. All right, take care of yourselves. Namaste.